Hello, good evening and welcome to PGTV. We're bringing you Atlantic Salmon action on the fly here on the beautiful Summerley Estate here on the Hampshire Avon. And uh, I've just taken out fish number eight on the, on the fly um, and there's a great story behind it. I'll show you the action, enjoy the film, enjoy the footage and uh, the story is amazing. So I'll let the film tell its own story. Okay, enjoy. Hiya Danny, I'm sorry I missed your call, I was just returning my eight fish. Really? Yeah. Where are you? I'm at Woodside. Wow. You're not going to... Yeah, 11 pound, and went back strong. Um, but let me tell you the story on it. Uh, a new rod um, was fishing today called John Harwood. And That's right, he had one out, didn't he? He had one out, and I, I did the photography for him and everything else. And um, it was, I think it had been caught twice. It was a warrior. It had a big seal mark opening on its side flank and it was recovering nicely in the side margins. And we left it there for half an hour, watched it carefully, started to recover. John had to p push on and so I hanged around for a bit longer. And then I thought I'd better go back and just see if it's okay. And I thought while I'm waiting for John to come up, I'll just put the fly through the tail of Woodside. And you know, I had two salmon here two years ago on the Meps. Yeah. I'll put the videos out. I, I vowed to come back and take one with the fly. Now, I've been having problems with my posh tosh. The posh tosh keeps on... The balance on those posh toshes is not easy to get. You've got to twig it all the time to get perfect balance so that the black tail's swimming correctly. Yeah. And I said to Harry, Harry, I've got a problem with my posh toshes. Can you tie me some posh toshes up but put some ballast in the fly so it swims beautifully? He said, yeah, no problem, Paul. He came down last week. He gave me one of his flies. And you wouldn't believe this. Just as John was turning up in the vehicle, um, the fly got smashed, and I was into an 11-pound salmon, fresh, fresh fish. Oh, fantastic. What a story, mate. Fantastic. beautiful clean gravel bar for test trolling and practicing his bait casting down here and there's a run that comes all the way down here next to this tree and the taking spot is just the other side of this tree that's the beautiful wood side it's absolutely superb you can fish it from the right bank and the left bank i like to be in the water test wading i think it's a beautiful place to be it's one of my favorite pools on this state and i think the largest salmon uh, was lost here i think I know I lost a really big fish here last week of about 25 pound plus, it was a three limb for fish. I came back to sort out the other fish and then got rewarded with this fish, so that's the story. If we had the wind behind us, it would go twice that far. But uh, the key is to get it in the right position. And I'll say I'm using a 15-foot um, sink leader. 
a copper fly, because it's fast, you see, I mean, even though conditions are finding up, we've got five feet of visibility, you've got to use a heavy um, sinking tip plus a heavy fly to deal with these fast currents. And the salmon are sitting in these fast currents, believe it or not, because they're better oxygenated. And that's, that's why I've come down here, besides losing a fish here last week. Um, out we go. on here on the fly he's taken harry's uh, posh tosh he's coming towards us and john's on his way up as well because we've got a uh he's coming right towards us straight on my feet look at this he's got salmon on and uh is it a salmon i'm hoping it is let's have a look at them where are they to us i think it is a salmon he's right under our nose here right under our nose yep Took it on the swing round. This is an Atlantic salmon on the fly. He's come right up. He's going, he's going. Oh yes, salmon on. Whoa, look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, I lost one here last week and I've come back to revisit it and uh, I think John's coming up. So um, there's salmon in uh, Woodside at the moment because uh, John took one early this morning and it's been, uh, uh, taken up this morning. I took a picture for him. Oh, he's a beautiful fish. Yeah, yeah. He's, um, he's a picture. He's got a yeah. smart yeah. size. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to take a picture of that because John likes to yeah. study these things. Yeah. Should I come in with you? Yeah, do you know And I can yeah. take a picture. So, yeah, what? Oh, congratulations. Thank you, yeah. yeah. Is this your second fish? My first fish here. First yeah. fish here. Well, well yeah. congratulations. Well done. You've had a few. I've been watching your Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. Can we take one that one as well? You can do. Yeah. There we go. Lovely. Yeah, thank you. I'll press the button in again, mate, if yeah, you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, sure. Mental link is going. Yeah, OK. What's your name, by the way? John. John. We've met before. Have we? Down on the royalty. I was fishing with my dad in the um, compound. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah. another yeah. few years back now. Just after you caught that one, though. About a week. No, oh, oh, the, the, the 31er. Yeah, yeah, OK. The week after you were fishing with <coughs> your dad. I thought I'd come back and just check on the fish, make sure it's okay. This fish is right under my, look at him. He's right here, right under my nose, there he goes. Oh. He's going, he's going, he's running, he's running. Oof. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a fresh Atlantic salmon, off he goes. Oh, he's running, he's running, he's running. Oh, we're still with him, we're still with him. Oh, goodness me, ladies and gentlemen, I can't even believe it. He's going into the far bank. I've got to keep him away from those snags. Oh, what a fish. So it was uh, Harry's posh tosh that nailed it. Came around and just took it right on the taking spot opposite the tree here. And I think John's on his way, so I might give him a call and let him know I've got a fish on. Just to let him know that I've got one on as well. So let's just see if John's around. He's just holding him now. <coughs> Hold him on the dangle. Okay. He's holding you in the main current now, he's just sat there. John, you're not going to believe this. You won't believe this story. I've come down to check on that fish, and I've been rewarded with fish number eight. I've got it on at the moment. He's taken it by the tree. I lost this fish last week. And I've come down with Harry's posh tosh 
and he's nailed it. He's, I've got a fish on at the moment, it's almost at the net. I can't believe it. I'm at Woodside, just down from the hatches. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, see you in a bit there, John. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay, cheers. cheers. I've always wanted a fish out of Woodside on the fly, and hopefully this is the one that's going to come. Now John's on his way. This one's this one. Stuck right in, in here. He's very, very powerful. He's just sat right on his lie. I'm going to just try and ease his head up and see if I can... Oh, he's moving. He's moving. He can feel the pressure. He can feel the pressure. He's moving. So I've walked in the dog. So let's walk him up. Here he Ladies and gentlemen, wonderful sport. Wonderful sport. Atlantic salmon. On the Hampshire even. John's on his way, he's just coming up from Ellingham Bridge, so hopefully he can help me land this fish if I can. And uh, we've got a few in the system at the moment. Let's see if we can land this one. It's a very, very powerful fish. He's going into the main flow, he's going to turn, he wants a head shake. I'm just going to keep the pressure on, keeping that pressure on. He took it explosively, just as it came around on the bender. Absolutely incredible. Here he comes, walking him up. Walking him up, here he comes. He's turning, he's turning. Oh. Oh. He couldn't bite a better strip. I've come back to check the welfare of um, John's fish. I spoke to John, John's going to get my hook with out. And then I thought, while I'm waiting for John, I'll just come down here, present the fly on one of my favourite spots, and the salmon has nailed it. So thanks to Harry's fly, I'm absolutely delighted. So John's on his way now. I'm just going to play him in. Here he comes. Oh, beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. I'm yeah, just uh, going to play this fish up now. So, fish on. So, here we go. Keep that rod up high. Here we go. Here we go. My goodness me, this is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh. Can you believe it, John? Can you believe it? Unbelievable, unbelievable. Oh, there's one or two about. There's one or two fish about, John. Yeah. He's behaving himself at the moment. I'm just walking him up. Yeah, he's come out three times. He's about, he's double figure. He's a double figure. He's not as big as the one I lost last week. Right, ladies and gentlemen, so I went for a copper fly to get down on this fast run, and that copper fly was the difference. So I was using the aluminium before and it wasn't getting down, but the copper fly got down on this fast current and the salmon nailed it. Unbelievable. Here he goes. He's, he's off, he's off. 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 Oh, he's taking line. Off. Let's walk him up. Let's walk him up. Keep the pressure on. Right, up he comes. Oh. Let's keep his head up, here he comes, here he comes. Oh. Oh. Right, he's right, right under my nose, John. Right under my nose. He doesn't even know I'm in the water. Oh, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. Oh. Here he goes, here he goes. Oh. He's got a good tail on him. It's a lovely fresh fish, John. Oh.
All right, I'm just going to walk him up. Walk in the dog now. Oh, he's got other plans. He's got other plans. Here you come, here he comes, here he comes. Goodness me, he's right between my legs. Off! Off! Here we go, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're getting this action. I really do. Got a couple of swans joining in the action as well. Off! Off! Look at this, he's right under my feet. My goodness me. Shaking right under my nose. I'll tell you what, John, I've not been this close to the action before. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yep. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, it's a beauty, it's a beauty. Right, I'm going to take him into the slack. Come on, this way. Into the slack water. Oh. You know what, he's, he's right under my feet, John. Right under my feet. Here he comes, here he comes. Right, net's off. Let's try and net this fish. Here he is. Here he is. He's ours. Fish number eight. Yippee! One happy bunny. Oh, John. Oh. It's a beauty. Let's see where he's taking it. Barbless hooks. So it should slip out okay. I can see the hooks. Oh, it's a beautiful Atlantic salmon. It's a beauty. Right from the hooks. Barbless. So easy to get out. That was really, really wonderful. So fish number eight is uh, on the estate. And that rhymes. So let's have a look at him. Let's just rest him up. Oh, he's recovered. Oh, he's a beauty. Let him recover. Fish are about... 11 pounds. Oh, he's beautiful. Oh, he's recovering beautifully. Oh. So. oh, ladies and gents. What a great right change. Harry's fly, Posh Tosh, did the business. Thank you, Harry. Appreciate that fly. He's got it beautifully balanced with some ballast in it to make sure it all fits in lovely. But this fish, 
is fin perfect. And there's another predator mark on its side flank, which John will be interesting to know about. But something's had a go at this. This fish is ready to go. Do you want one more, John, or should I just let him go? Off he goes. That is a well recovered fish. Yeah. Thank you, John. Yeah. I can't believe this. Like you can't tell you, you can't write the script, John. Can you write that script? How can you write that script? Right, let's give Harry a call and thank him for that fly he tied. I think he'd be pleased to hear that it's taken the salmon. Let's hope, let's hope that Harry's about. Hello. Hiya, Harry, it's Paul here. Hello, Paul, you sound particularly I'm a very happy bunny and I want to thank you for your lovely fly that you tied for me, because it just nailed a salmon. Yeah, you know that lovely posh tosh fly you tied, the copper one, with a nice bit of ballast built in? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've just taken yeah. a 11 pound salmon with it out of Woodside's tail. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, no. So thank well, you. On the t um, by the tree on that tail I was showing you, you know, I told you that I had, I had two fish here on the MEPS two years ago. And I was desperate yeah. to take one on the fly, and it took your fly, mate. Your fly was working a treat. It came up and nailed it. Yeah. So it took it. Uh, I walked down by uh, the bottom end there, by the, where the trees are. That's yeah? it, by the tree, opposite the tree, about 20 feet away from the tree. But I lost a 25 pound plus fish here last week. I told you about it, didn't I, at Woodside? Yeah. And I lost yeah. another big one at Hoodies, which I'll probably put out on the video. But, um,. There's a few fish about, and also a brand new rod called John took out a fish this morning. And you're not going to believe this, Harry. I've got to tell you the story. I was chest wading Woodside. I didn't, I didn't even know that this guy was in the water recovering his fish. All I could hear was he was saying, help, help. Can you come and help me? Take a picture. So I got out of the water. I went down and saw him, and he was in there with a 10-pound salmon. And it had been, it'd been hit by a seal. It, it had been hooked at least once times before because its mouth was damaged. So we knew it had been either hooked or caught before, but it was struggling to recover. So we spent half an hour with it. We put him on, yeah. he was okay. He was tucked in the margin and he was absolutely fine recovering. And then John had to go home. So I thought I'd come back and see how the fish was and, he, and, and the fish was gone. I thought, oh good, he's obviously darted off. Anyway, you couldn't write the script, Harry, because as soon as John came up, I phoned John and said, you wouldn't believe this, I'm into a salmon. And uh, John's, John's done the photography, he's taken some lovely pictures, and um, I'm absolutely delighted. I said, I just absolutely chuffed, and I want to say thank you very much for that fly. And if you can tie me another five, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, okay, mate, okay. But if you can tie me those coppers with the ballast, the ones with the red, oh, yeah. the red nose and that lovely, oh. Do you know what? I, I've been fishing with it just for about an hour. Because my posh toshes were going all over the place, so I thought I'd try one of yours, and bang! I knew it was fast current here, it needed a copper fly, and it got down and it nailed it! Boosh! Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Very good, very oh, good. Yeah. yeah, thanks, Harry. So I'll, um, number eight on, it's number eight for me on the estate, and, uh, I'm. I'm, I'm oh, cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Oh, I just love it. You you don't get you don't get Atlantic salmon every day of the week here. So when you've got it, you've got to enjoy it. Yeah. 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 All right, Harold. Well, hopefully we'll see you soon, mate. I hope you have a good week. And uh, if you do yeah. get tempted to come down, give me a call, and uh, we'll 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 go together. Well, yeah. We'll, we'll do. Well, yeah. Yeah. Maybe 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 in a couple of weeks, Harry. A couple of weeks, mate. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah thanks, then, Harry. Yeah.
Cheers, mate. Uh, yeah. Well yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Harry. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Okay. Ta ta. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, Harry's happy as well, and I'm happy. So, what can I say? Oh, it's just. Is there another fish here? Should we give it a go? Should I take out a second? Oh, isn't that beautiful? One of the first ducklings just doing a river crossing. I've got Lars on the phone, and I've just got a lovely little duckling that's decided to cross Woodside, well, just where I had the fish. There's the nature for the video. Thank you very much. <laughs> the male drakes are having a bit of a battle as well, as well as the swans. And you see those beautiful cows here, the tail of Woodside grazing. Now I'm fishing a ultimate tail here. There's a lie underneath this tree. And I was here with Paul Shuttler earlier in the year, and I was tweaking my fly under the tree and something enormous nailed it and went doosh, played it in and uh, I got snapped off and it was something very, very big in the 25 to 30 pound class. So it's well worth working your fly all the way down here and working under those trees. There's not too many snags under there, but you can work it with a sinking tippet and an aluminium fly. It works like a suspended minnow. So that's worth a shout as well. So they do hang under there, particularly when it's sunny. The salmon will take shade wherever it can find it. So anything like the tree line here that provides shade, that's why I took it here. The sun was coming up at six o'clock here and it gave a little bit of um, uh, protection. And that's what you're looking for when you're salmon fishing. So the other thing I was going to mention is I'm fishing water that's really fast at the moment because we've got lower water and the salmon are looking for oxygen. You need to find water that's running quite fast and you need to be using a copper or tungsten fly to get down or maybe even a sinking leader on top of that. I'm using a 15 foot sinking leader to fish these fast bits of water and that allows the fly to work just below the surface. So um, as conditions fine up and as the water levels drop off, you've got to find water that's pretty fast. And then that's where the salmon will be, taking the oxygen. I've just spoken to Larg, he's um, working his way up to the weir and uh, he's uh, gonna fish the weir pool where there's a big, big, big tail coming off that weir pool lots of oxygen and I think the salmon will stack up there and they'll take the oxygen on these lower water conditions so that's a top tip from PG TV and it's goodbye from me and goodbye from PG TV it's a salmon I think it's a salmon the way it's fighting is it a salmon or is it a pike Oh, it's shaking like a salmon, and it's going like a salmon. I think this is a salmon, ladies and gentlemen. Fighting ever so well, ladies and gentlemen. These hours, fish number 11.